guys, it's me and today I'm here with a new makeup tutorial for you guys and it is on this look that I'm wearing today. This look is inspired by Tardio Turner's stage look. It's like one of her go-to looks that she wears whenever she's performing. At first I was originally only going to do really dramatic makeup looks for Halloween season this year but I was just really feeling like doing a more simple kind of like beauty look today and that's what I have on like this is like a really nice like simple beauty look and it's actually very wearable which is really weird since I usually do like bright bold not your everyday kind of makeup look that not everybody is going to want to wear but this look is actually very like wearable and it's weird well it's weird for me that is and this was a spur of the moment tutorial, so I mean, everything that you see happen in this tutorial, it's completely raw footage. So it's like, you see me go through making this look and like changing things up a little bit as I go along, so yeah. Cause like, I just was like, I wanna do a makeup look, but I don't know what I wanna do. And I was like, let's do a beauty look. Cause I mean, I'm loving how my hair looks today. And it's just like let's let's stick stay with like the beauty trend and not do like a crazy insane Halloweeny kind of look today. So yeah. So if you guys want to see how to create this look, stay tuned. I'm first going to start out by priming my eyelids using the Elf Essential Eyelid Primer in Sheer. And yeah, eyes are now primed and ready to go. So first things first, like usual, I'm gonna take Urban Decay's eyeshadow in Kinky on this Real Techniques Deluxe Crease Brush. And I'm just gonna start out by running this into my crease. And taking it up to underneath my brow bone. I'm not going to fill in my brows today because I'm just not feeling it, so, yeah. Now with Tarya's eye look, um, the smokiness, it's, I'm not sure if I want to go like for a straight on black or if I want to go for a more subdued black, so I think I'll go with the more subdued black because that's how it's looking, but then again it could be just like the lighting. In the photo. So with that I'm going to go into my LG Metro 50 palette and I'm going to pick up this eyeshadow right here. It's a dark brown black and I'm just going to apply that using this pencil brush by Essential Tools I believe is the brand. I still don't know what the brand of these brushes that I have is so and I'm just going to take this into my crease. the blending side of this brush and just start blending that out. And there is a hair just chilling right there where I'm trying to work. No, well, I've never used this eyeshadow on my lids before. So I've only ever used this particular eyeshadow on my brows and I must say it blends really well. The last shade that I'm gonna pick up is this little guy right here. It's this like really nice metallic silvery shade to apply using the Shani E11 brush. This side is pigmented, okay. And I'm just gonna apply this all over the lid. Well the open space of the lid I should say. I 
actually looks really good. Well, like I said, this is a spur of the moment kind of tutorial, so everything that you see happen is like raw footage. So, yeah, I really like this color. It looks really nice. Alright, so I'm gonna go ahead and redo this on this eye, and I'll be right back. Alright, got the eyeshadows down, so now I'm gonna go ahead and do eyeliner and mascara so yeah i'm like really really digging this look so next up comes lining my water lines and i'm going to be using the wet n wild color icon pencil and baby's got black and i'm going to line both my top and bottom water lines so yeah and i'm going to do this off camera so i'll be back in just a minute all right eyeliner is done so next up is mascara now the good thing about this makeup look is that it's very simple because from what I can tell, Taria, she's not wearing false lashes, which is amazing because I hate false lashes because I'm very, very new to them and I don't know much about them and also I only have one pair and they're shit. <laughs> so yeah, I need to get like some new lashes because that pair, um, yeah, they're not good. <laughs> So yeah, I'm just going to put on some mascara now, and I'm going to be using my go-to mascara, which is the Elf Lash Extending Mascara. Oh, and I should also mention the reason why I didn't line my top lash line is because in the photos that I can find of this look, none of them really show her the top of her eyes. And so, because like in all the photos, like she has her head tilted back just a little bit. And it's kind of hard to like see the top lash line, which you think it would be the other way around, but yeah, but she's like looking up in like most of her pictures, and then like the pictures that she is looking down, it's really hard to see like her upper lash line because of her hooded lids. But I just want to like let you guys know like about my eyes because I'm pretty sure you guys have noticed this by now. But this eye is extremely sensitive for some reason. I don't know why it is. It's just really sensitive to stuff. Like not as I'm like allergic or anything like that. It's just that like it has like there are a lot of overactive nerves. Because as you probably notice like whenever I put on like mascara or like whenever I do tutorials and I show myself putting on my eyeliner you guys probably have noticed that like this eye like blinks and twitches a lot whenever I'm doing that and it's just simply because this eye is really sensitive for some reason I really don't know you would think that it would be this eye because this is the eye that like I banged up several years ago because I fell and hit my bed frame when I was a little kid and you would think that it would be this eye that's messed up, but no, it's this one. So, yeah. Eyes are officially done, so now let's go ahead and move on to the face. And just ignore my dog, he's just having a moment right now. So, yeah. So I'm gonna do my go-to like coverage foundation, which is the NYX BB Cream in Nude. I'm just gonna apply this all over my face. And I'm going to be using my fingers for this because my foundation brush is still damp from when I washed my brushes last night. So now I'm going to go ahead and set this using the L Translucent Mattifying Powder in Translucent. You guys already should know this. This is in my go-to setting powder. Hopefully this brush isn't still too damp. See, I was originally already planning on doing a Taria inspired look. I was planning on doing planning on doing the look that she wore in her video for I Walk Alone. But um yeah I didn't feel like doing a super dramatic look today. Especially because my foundation brush is still pretty damp from when I washed it last night. So yeah because when I work with fuller coverage foundations I like to use a brush. Because like I've noticed like if I've tried to use my fingers with a full coverage foundation, I've noticed that like it can actually like come out kind of streaky on me. I know that's kinda of weird to think that it'd be the other way around, but no. Not for me. Oops, I'm gonna be doing something I've never done before, well in a tutorial that is. I am going to do a, like a very like natural nude lip color. So yeah. Um, I've never done this before here on my channel. I've always have done like crazy bold, cr 
like wild lip colors and whenever I have done like a nude it's always been like butter by um Nick. Fuck. So first I'm gonna start out by lighting my lips using the NYX Slim Lip Pencil in Peekaboo Neutral. And I know this lip pencil is hard to find. Why am I talking while trying to line my lips? I know this pencil is kind of hard to find. And I found it in an Ulta down in Macon. When I was visiting my sister. And this lip liner is like my natural lip color. But better. It's that kind of look for me. And I'm just going to fill in my lips the rest of the way in. Because for me personally, I do not like the lip liner look where you just like outline your lips and then put a, like, a lip color on top of it. I just don't like that look because a lot of times you can see like the lip liner around the lips. And to me personally, I just don't like it. It doesn't like suit my aesthetic whatsoever. Now you can definitely leave the look looking like this. But I'm going to put something on top of it because... It's kind of hard to tell because of the lighting, once again, but I'm pretty sure Taria's lips are a little bit glossy. There's like a little bit of a sheen going on her lips. So I'm going to be using the NARS Satin Lip Pencil in Rikujian, I think is the name. I don't know. It's a weird ass name. And this is a travel size one. I actually got this um, from my best friend Alex if you watched. Um, my last haul video, not my last haul video, my um, my last huge one, which was the one prior to the last one. And as me and her, we went into a Sephora. She signed, she got an account with them, um, like, like, signed up for like the rewards program, I think is what it was. And um, since she missed, like, since it was sometime about a month or so after her birthday, like, they're like, oh, you missed your birthday here, let me give you a free birthday gift. And it was like two of these NARS pencils. She kept one of the pencils and it was in Cruella, which is like a matte red. And I took this one because, I one, I already have a matte red, and two, I don't have, I didn't have like a neutral lipstick. In the reference photo, um, the nude lip that she has on is a lot lighter than this. But if I were to go lighter than this, it would not look that good on me. So yeah, this is the final look. So yeah, that is it for this Taria inspired makeup tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I had a lot of fun creating this look and it's very different. I'm not used to doing looks like this. and. I'm actually am really loving this. This might turn into like my new like everyday sort of makeup look. I'm really liking it. Maybe not this neutral of a lip though because I mean like come on I still love my bright ass crazy lip colors. So yeah but like this eye though. This eye though. I like it. I like it a lot. So yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and if you are new here to my channel don't forget to hit subscribe and also don't forget to hit that like button because it'll help me out a lot. All my links are down in the description box below and until I see you guys in my next video whenever the hell that may be. Goodbye.